All right, good morning, everybody. Uh, so this morning we're going to go over questions 33 and 34 of the larger catechism. Uh, before we do that, let me uh, go ahead and op uh, open us up in prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day, your Lord's Day, our day of rest. We pray that you would be with us through your spirit this morning as we dive into your word uh, through our catechism questions, that we may learn more of you, of your glory, and we pray that we would draw closer to you in the process. We pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, so uh, in question 33, you're probably looking at the question and going, uh, well, there's, uh, there's not a whole lot there. Um, and, and you're right. Let's, uh, let's read the question real quick. Was the covenant of grace always administered after one and the same manner? The covenant of grace was not always administered after the same manner, but the administration of it under the Old Testament was different from those under the New. Okay, so the short answer to this question is no, right? Um, the covenant of grace was not administered in the same manner. The Old and the New were different. Okay, now this is a pretty short answer because its goal really is to tee you up for questions 34 and 35. Now, this is not to say um, that we can't speak generally of the differences within the covenants between the Old and the New Testament. So that's what I want to do here briefly before we get into question 34. So, for instance, right, let's say you're in line at HEB, right, and someone turns around and just strikes up a, a question about covenant theology. I don't know about you, but it happens to me all the time, okay? I'm making a quick trip for the essentials, right, Shiner and Ranch. I go there for that all the time. Someone turns around and goes, you know, there's something that's really, really bugging me. Uh, I understand Everything after the covenant of works is covenant of grace. 